ஓகே திருப்பி நம்ம வந்து அதே இதுக்கு ஓகே ப்ராஜெக்ட் டெவலப் ப்ராஜெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டோம் ப்ராஜெக்ட் பண்றது ஈஸியா இருக்கும் ஸோ அப்படி இது பண்ணல ஓப்பனிங் த ப்ராஜெக்ட் இப்போ லாஸ்ட் டைம் வந்து ஜாப்ஸையும் சாரி ஓகே அந்த ஜா ஓகே ரிப்போர்ட் ஜாப்பையும் பேஸ் ஜாப்பையும் அது அதை அதையும் நம்ம டெவலப் பண்ணிருந்தோம் நம்ம இப்போ ரெண்டையும் டெலிட் பண்ண போறேன் ஓகே இப்போ அது உங்களுக்கு தேவைப்படும் டெலிட் பண்ண போறேன் ஓகே யூஸ்வலாக என்ன ஆகணும் ஒரு ப்ராஜெக்ட் லைக் என்ன ஒரு ஆப்ஜெக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு எங்கே ஆகிறதுல டெலிட் இருக்கும் இங்கே அப்படி இல்லை இங்கே டெலிட் வந்து அந்த எடிட் உள்ளுக்கு தான் இருக்கு ஸோ இது கிளிக் தேர்ட் ஓகே கோயிங் தேர் ஸோ இது இங்கே இருக்கும் கொஞ்சம் ஹிடன் ஆன பிளேஸ்ல இருக்கும் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் சி தட் இந்த அந்த இந்த இது இருக்கலாம் இது இந்த ஒரு கார்டு ஸ்பேனர் மாதிரி ஒரு இது சிம்பிள் இருக்குல்ல அங்கே இருக்கு இது யூ ஆர் டெலிட்டிங் தீஸ் பேஜ் ஓகே பேசிக்கலி யூ ஆர் எடிட்டிங் த பேஜ் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் இயர் யூ ஆர் லைக் யூ நோ ட்ராப் டவுன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்பேனர் இது ஓப்பன் பண்ணிங்கனாக்கி அதில் டெலிட் ஓகே அண்ட் டெலிட்டிங் த பேஜ் ஓகே கன்ஃபார்ம் கீழே இருக்கு பர்மனண்ட்லி டெலிட் த பேஜ் ஸோ த பேஜ் இஸ் கான் ஓகே Now I am going to the, the, the second page. Okay, here I am going to open the page. Basically, the number is going to be there. You know that. Okay, I am going to go to 11. Okay, 11 I am delete. Basically, I am going to develop again the same page. Okay, permanently delete the page. So basically, our last uh, tutorial development page is removed. Now we are going back to the level where அந்த அப்ளிகேஷனை ஜென்ரேட் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஐ மீன்ஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஜென்ரேட் பண்ணும்போது ஆர் அப்ளிகேஷனை வந்து கிரியேட் பண்ணும்போது இப்போ எந்த ஸ்டேட்டஸில் இருந்தோமோ அந்த ஸ்டேட்டஸில் இருக்கும் நான் திருப்பி போக போகிறேன் ஓகே ஐ ஆம் டெவலப்பிங் த சேம் பேஜ் அகைன் மேனேஜ் ஜாப் கிரேட் ஜாப் மேனேஜ் ஜாப் இஸ் அ ரிப்போர்ட் கிரேட் ஜாப் இஸ் அ ஃபார்ம் ஓகே நம்ம திருப்பி பண்ண போகிறோம் ஓகே கிரியேட் பேஜ் தட் இஸ் ஃபைன் As I said, we have a report, forms, master detail. We are going to report the report. The reason is, the first page is a report, the second page is the form, data entry form. Report is chosen. Okay. Now, what kind of report? Basically, I need a report with a form. Okay. These are the simple report. It's a list. It's a toggle report. I don't know what it is. I never learned that. இது எனக்கு தெரியல ஐ டோன் நோ பேசிகலி தீஸ் ஆர் திங்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டன் இட் பட் தீஸ் ஆர் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் ஒன்லி திங் இஸ் கம்ஸ் ரிப்போர்ட் வித் டேட்டா என்ட்ரி ஃபார்ம் ஸோ ரிப்போர்ட் வித் அ ஃபார்ம் ஓகே சேம் ஹேட் ரிப்போர்ட் ரிப்போர்ட் வித் ஃபார்ம் ஓகே ஐ சே தட் ஒன் ஜீரோ ஒன் ஓகே ஐ கிவ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் நேம் ஆர்பிடி எம்ப்ளாயீஸ் ஓகே அப்ளிகேஷன் ஜாப்ஸ் ஓகே Sorry, last time I picked up the job, it was something wrong, I think. Uh, okay, sorry. We are developing a job last time, I think I made a mistake. Job ready, job everything. Okay, I'm going for it. Okay, this also we are going for everything. Primary key is job ready. Okay, creating it. What is that name? employees sorry i i made a two mistakes the name is wrong it's supposed to be report jobs and the form uh, employees form jobs okay that is i made a mistake here okay okay now i'll come back to that i'll fix that part okay now i can say that here report jobs see jala yes jobs jobs okay titles manage jobs jobs 
Um, jobs, jobs, job. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay. As I said, model is run by somebody else. Basically, the smaller window is the width. Okay, window within a page. Another model is run by somebody else. So we have to run a report. Okay, I'm running it now. Okay, job ID is, I didn't remove the job ID, job ID is coming, job name is here, minimum salary is here, maximum salary is here, active is here. Okay, yesterday active were because there was some problem with the, the column. Okay, cool. If the thing is, now I have to change the, okay, job name is fine, minimum salary, maximum salary. Now, let's say format change. Okay, I'll come to that active, what, I, what I'm going to do that project, right? Job ID, I'm going to hide, because I don't need a job ID. Probably in the icon in change my number. Okay, this is what we did last time. Okay, now I'm going to edit the page. Only zero one is our page number, so I'm going to edit the page. Okay, as I said, left side number the all common under go. Center level how it is arranged. The page of the arrangement in the go. Your right side part you like attributes. Attributes is the property of everything. Like you look up here, you where in there, you validation in there, the properties right side. Okay, we like basically you have is the first the default one is the component. Give a parting like it. There were something called events. Events like you know, load up with the change up with the click on the lever and not program. Okay, we are not going to do any programming. We try to do the minimum programming among the base developer. Okay, like it. Same thing programming. Okay, the process. Submit to the primary key code process. Process. Okay. This is basically it is that uh, this one is basically that the common pages. The navigation menu. We'll go go here. We'll I'll show you how it works here. Okay. The template line are going to be common one. I'm going back to the first one. Okay. First one is the pre-rendering level. People rendering one level. Region region is content body. Basically, the content body is a kind of a region which is called content body. Okay. Okay. Now the report is that report. Enter the table and the word. schema and a parsing schema. Okay. Table name and the job owner. Okay. Include the right in our career. Where class in a card name. I can say job ID equal to less than equal to America Pandala. Last time on a card name. I'm not doing it here. Okay. The position of the content body. The position of the table is the content body. You look at that. You look at the content body. You look at it. Okay, column is automatic, column span is automatic, everything is here. Template on the interactive report. Okay, you can go and change the template if you want. We are not doing anything. I'm just showing what it is. Okay, you can see that, you can put that whether you only can make a condition here. Okay, this is all, you can go through everything, there's a help. Help is here. Okay, you click here, that'll tell you, okay, what you can do here. And the material, like, you know, the example, you can help you can go for here, okay. You can go and search. If something you want to search, you can search here. And then last time, path like that. Okay. I'm going back to the same layout. Okay. Uh, my question is, I don't want job ID. What I'm going to do here? Okay. I'm going to hide it. Going to job ID, I'm going to see here hidden column. I don't want this column to be shown, so I'm just I'm hiding it. Hidden column, so now it's hidden. Okay, job name is fine. I'm going to do minimum salary. What I want to do minimum salary? Minimum salary is a plain number. So in your number, number basically they call it as a plain text. Okay, everything, everything displayed as plain text. Okay, minimum salary is there. Minimum salary is I to enter. Job for you enter. Job is as I said, the text is always left. Aligned number is right aligned. Okay, minimum salary is coming here. Minimum salary, or I can say minimum salary. Full thing. Okay, minimum salary sequence is here. Group is fine. Format. Okay, column formatting it. Uh, okay. Choose the column format. 
Creo que sale. Farmer Musk, sorry. No, Farmer Musk, appearance. Farmer Musk, let me. Okay, yeah, Farmer Musk, because they don't know what column it is. But okay, all the columns is called text and all. They, they show all the possible formats. Number formats, you know. So we are going and choosing this one. Like, you know, this one, if you are choosing it, you put a dollar symbol. This is a decimal. This is a negative number minus. This is a simple format. We are choosing a simple format. Okay, we are not going to do anything else here. Okay, I am saving it. Maximum salary. The same thing. I am going to choose the uh, format. Uh, where is that? This is I am choosing it. I am saving it. Okay. If I okay, if I'm running it again, you will see that my format is changed. Minimum salary, I change the maximum salary, I'll changing it. Job name is fine, everything is fine. Either change, I don't want this one. Okay, I'll also show where it is coming from. Okay, that is a little hidden places. You have to see that. Okay, the attribute number that is basically if you are looking at that, this is the attribute of the report. So if you go here, if you click here, it will show you the attribute is there. Okay, basically what it says is <coughs> attribute. If you if you are linking a page, on what page you are linking? So number one, basically the edit of linking. Another number one, the edit edit column. So number one, the edit the current page of the link one number. Current page you know one zero two. Okay, if a current page of number one number one, I current page level the column that is list one. So basically, I mean, I mean, we have data on the number. So we have to send a primary key. For job, number one, they are like director. Now, now basically we are editing a director. So we have to tell that page. I am editing a director. So what is the identification of the director? The primary key of the uh, row. The primary key is a job ID. So it's job ID and Anupo. Basically, it's all look up. You can just choose it. Like, you know, and choose that. Okay. So basically, you are cho choosing a primary key from there. And you are sending from the report, you are sending this job ID. You are sending it. That's how you are sending it. Okay. Okay. Now, here it says, what kind of format do you want? Link icon. What do you want? So say that I'm going for a blue color. Okay, that's it. Okay, again I'm telling here you go to attribute. The attribute you have the property you are changing it. Okay. Now I am running this one. Okay. Still I am not coming here. Okay, I want to. I will come back to this one. Okay. Now this is all done for me. Okay. Now if I go and edit that manager. Okay. It says here, okay. Now, here also, I want to change something. I don't like this form employee because there are mistake. so I'm going to correct it. Okay, here also, I'm going to see this employee management. Okay, okay, this is basically application name. This is I correct it. This is if I say job here, I don't have to say job again. I can say minimum maximum salary, I can say all these things. Okay, now I go here. Where is it coming from? Okay, I can see here. Job, see that. Okay, this is a form employee, it's a content body. This is the main the region, so I'm changing that. Okay, that is fine here. So I can change the name here. Everything I leave it as it is. I'm changing the name, just name here. You can say here minimum salary, minimum salary. Sorry, salary. Okay, I can also put a format here. Format mask, the same thing I can put here. Format mask. Where is the format mask? See, here it shows only the number because when you are coming to the input, it knows what kind of column it is. If you look at the column type, it says number field. So it pick up only one, only the minimum that the number is only things here. Okay, G is basically like a comma, and there is a there will be D. If you look at this is the format, but since you are coming by default, you don't know. D is basically decimal. That is how they are making a format here. Okay, and I'm going to maximum salary. I'm to maximum salary. The number alignment is right alignment. That is right for this one. And format mask. I'm choosing a format mask. I am saving it. Okay, that is fine here. 
see it is from here. Okay. So if I go to that uh, icon, okay, I'll go back to that shop management. Okay. If this is linked, I'll, 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 I'll change that, but I'll show that also here. Now I'll come here, I'll run from here. Okay, now if I go to edit, this is name, manager, minimum salary spend, it's coming with the bracket, everything. Now, okay. Now, what is this we are going to do? Here, there is a, a fixed value. Either it is yes or no. Okay. So generally there is a when there is a fixed value is there, we will give them a help. We allow them to choose the value. Okay. Yes, yes, no choose no choose Okay. Check box like on radio box Okay. I hope you understand what is radio box. Radio box is like you can choose either one. Okay. I can say that yes. As a button, no, there is a button. So you can choose the SR yes no. That is that is called radio box. There is a check box. There is only square. You can check for like yes. Basically, basically, you can on it off. Okay, radio of the radio launch button on the rima over button over value box. And the mother that's what is called radio button. Check box is basically there's a square, you can check it out. Okay, you learn a drop down. Basically, I can choose a drop down. There is a value to say yes, value say no. Okay, I'm going to do a drop down for you. Drop down the number, there is something called LOV, lookup values. Basically, there's a help for lookup. Okay, now I'm going to the page to come here. Okay, list of values. That's called list of values, lookup values. Okay, okay. So I'm going to the list of values. Or uh, what I can do here is okay, I can come here. Now it show me the list of values here. Okay, I go back. Here also this is what page you are editing it. Show it again. Okay, this is basically the shared component. All the shared component you are creating. The local values are basically three by three by the use for another that is called shared component. Okay, I'm going to the shared component and give the list of values. Okay, okay. I'll come back to all these things later. This is the list of values I'm going for the list of values. They have given us some list of value by default. Okay, forget about that. Now we are creating it. Okay, from scratch or copy. I'm creating from a scratch. Okay, is a dynamic or static? Dynamic I you table on the Basically, that is the data is coming from a table. That's what called dynamic. Static I you basically you decide what is a value, what is a display value. Okay, other static. create Okay, I always say. LOV, uh, yes, no, okay, yes, okay, LOV, yes, no, that is what my name is, okay, next, okay, display value, in it. yes, A return value, in it. store printer value, in it. why, okay, display value, in it. no, no, okay, my active on the SR, no, but allow open draw, so basically this is what SR, no, Okay, I'm creating a lookup value here. Okay, I'll show it again. Going there, I will not save this time. I'm going here from a scratch. Okay, basically I'm create one row, copy one row. Okay, pair blue grey. Yes, no. On the matter of pair blue grey, dynamic, dynamic. You have table and the row. You have to write a select statement. Is a dynamic layer. Is a very common static one. So I'm going for that. This is a display value. You give a full name which has to be displayed in that place. It's a return value. This is what you have to do that. Okay. In this case, we get a sum. No? Okay. Now I'm going to the page. It is obvious which page you came from. So I'm going to the page. One zero two. Okay. Now I'm going to the active. Now I'm telling I need a lookup value. Okay. So basically, there's a list values coming here. There should be somewhere select list. Okay, these are all possible. You can do that, but we are now choosing a select list. That is what we are choosing here. Okay, when you are doing a select list, now you have to give that look up somewhere else here down here. It says list of value. What list of value you are choosing here? Okay, it's a shared command. Even I can write, write a query here itself. Like I can either I can choose this one or a static value. Here, here, here. 
I'll choose it from a static component. All these things I can do it from here also. The, the static component I can create here. But since it is commonly used again and again, yes or no, will be used everywhere. So I'm creating a shared component. Okay. I'm using a shared component and picking it up. Picture. Yes or no. Okay. Now I saved it. Okay. Now I'm going here. I'm going to edit manager. See, it says yes or no. That's what it shows. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? This is okay. Now I'm canceling it. Or I said I'm going to deal with this also. Am I right? This also says or no. I, I should not show the value. I should show what they ended. They choose yes or no. So I'm coming here. I'm editing that page. I'm choosing that column here. Where is that? If you look at the first one, go to the default one, choose the column. Active. This is not a plain test. The text is coming from list of values. Plain text, but based on a list of values. We are going to do a list of value here. What is the list of value? Yes or no? Save. Okay, now I am running here. Okay, okay. For the, basically the value what you do is you picked up the value of internally y which is related to the tail y that is what is going to be displayed that is what it is yeah i can edit this i can say managers something like that you can apply the change okay that is absolutely fine here and the manager got changed as soon as i change that it refresh the value shows here okay actually i can change it now i can do that apply the change Okay, now can I create? Okay, I, okay, can I create? Yesterday I explained you cannot create because the reason is I haven't yet assigned the primary key value. I'm, give, I'm giving a name value, minimum value, maximum value, active, everything I can give it. Primary key is a hidden column. Okay, if I say that something like that, I say junior director, that's what I just did. Uh, you know, see, okay, thirty four thousand active. Yeah, it's active. Can I create? No, it's going to say that same error we might have seen last time too. Okay, now what I'm going to do here? Okay, I'm going to assign the primary key a value. So, how did I do? Okay. Uh, what is the primary key value here? Like on to P102 job ID. Okay, I can go and copy it if I want it. Like, you know, P102, copy it. Now I'm going to the process. Like, if you like, I'm going to the process. Okay. After submit. Basically, submit, I told you what it is when you are, like, you know, saving the button. That's what's called submit. After submit. Okay. I'm right clicking in and creating a process. Say, I can say that set pk. I'm setting the pk. Okay, PL SQL code is fine because that is what I are going to do. That that's what coming. Okay, now we can, we can have it as, a, as it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to assign the value here. Okay, so I copied the primary key, which I copied from there, I paste it. Okay. Now, whenever you are referring that, you have to see that that the basically the beige item when you are referring it. This is how you have to like you have to say colon and the beige item name. That is how you refer that. Okay, the beige item is basically created with the beige number P, then the beige number, then underscore the job that column name. That is how they do it. So now when you are assigning it in Oracle, this is called colon equal to. Okay, that is what the assigning is. I think it is called SQL sequence. Uh, anybody remember the uh, name from this last week? I think this is what it is. I believe SQL. I'm going here. Is that what it is? EMP sequence dot next. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm validating it. Validation successful. Okay. 
Okay, now we create it. But there's one more thing you have to do that. Okay, I don't want this process to be run every time. Okay, submit happens the two times basically. Like, you know, when you're updating it, when you are creating it, submit happens. Okay, this doesn't have a, any job when you are updating it because when you're updating already the, the column has got a value and that primary key is not editable. So it doesn't have a value. Now I have to tell the system, you call this process only when you are creating a value. Okay, there are many ways you can do that. You can say that like another you know, when the value is null, you do that. That is also I can do that. But otherwise I can do that. When you do that, that save is happen, not that like you know update value it means apply value. Okay. Now I can go here. When button pressed, you can say that they call it create. That is what they call it. Just send it. So basically, this is executed only when the create button is pressed, not when that other button is like now the update button is pressed. Okay, saving it. Now we are coming back and we are running it. Okay, leave the page, go back to that. Okay, creating it. Name. Okay, name, say that uh, junior. Okay, let's say cook. You know, say hundred thousand two hundred thousand. Okay, okay. Here, one more thing we can do here. Here, you can give give a default value. When I see that, why basically this is only two value. Why can't say yes or no automatically comes yes comes or no comes automatically. Okay. Because when you are creating it, normally it's active. So yes, it's going to be used for at least 60% of time. So we can give it as a default. Okay. As of now, not that. I'll show you how do I do that. Okay. See that. The cookie is created. Yeah. Okay. Now, how I'm going to do the default? Okay. I'm editing the page, or I can, like, you know, I can go and edit the page or I can edit this page, I can move the page to the next one. Next one like this one. Now I'm going to say that I'm going here. I'm say active here. I'm saying here I want a default value. That should be somewhere. This is it says so appearance, list of values. Okay. Here it says, do you want a display extra value? I don't want a display extra value. Display null value, no. That's the one way of doing here. It is controlling the LOV. So basically it is automatically going to come. Still it doesn't default it. Though it shows that it doesn't default the value. But there's one more place I can go and show that. This is your controlling LOV. What is the function of the LOV? Whether you want to display the null value. Last time you see the empty value, that's a null value. It displays the null value, okay? Okay. I can say that display null value, yes, because there are something as called a null value. So I can do that, but okay. I leave it as it is here. Now the, there is a something called a default value. Okay, I'm not able to find it. But then I can say here default. Okay. Now when I search here, automatically it comes whatever the D is there comes. Okay. Select the value. It's a static value. Okay. I can say here the value is Y. Okay, I can go here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay. Save. So I give a default value, static value, because it is a static, like you no know, data. Okay, now I come to 101. I'm running it here. I'm going to create. See that? The yes came default. So I can see here uh, one job. What is that? Sales clerk. Uh, a teacher. Jobs okay. Say that uh, eighty thousand, eighty thousand, hundred thousand. Create that okay. Okay. There's some more things I'll do it for today before we end in the class. Just for five minutes. Okay, I'll do that. I'll try to do it. What happened when I'm coming here? I said, like, you know, the apply changes come, delete comes, cancel comes. These are not a color, it has got a color, okay? This called apply changes. I can say update, because this is update. I can change, I can do that. Delete, I can change the color here, okay? I also show you why, like, you know, when you are updating it, you are getting a delete 
the supply chain when you are creating it you are seeing that okay i can cancel but i can say you are creating it you see the cancel and create cancel and create where you i showed you i'll show you it again why it is happening there okay now what is happening here is the primary key is one basically the, the column i see that there could be a null value there could be not null value all the stuff is there generally what about the primary key determines whether the data is created or not okay there are other value of the other required column also do that but primary key is a definite word so what happened the primary key is a null that is considered as if we are creating it primary has got a value that is called basically already is created so you are updating it that is how they basically like you know, most of the time logically they determine now what is happening here when you are coming to the cancel button delete button they says you can delete only in the update so basically when you are creating it you don't have to delete anything you just you come out of cancel come out of it so they do a validation when you go there there's a server said says item is not null there's a lot of validation is there you can go through that okay many will go one by one but if you, if you say item is not null which item is not null the primary key is not null okay when you are coming to save okay they says the same thing because the save is update okay i i i put here update okay so that you know that is updating it okay button called save this is basically what it is doing here is updating it what the same thing they do item is not null okay the create comes the other way around is the nil is, is supposed to be creating it so item has to be null the job id has to be null so they says item is null for the job id okay this is the condition also there so i can choose that okay that is how it works okay now what i do here this one i am changing a color to yellow okay now how do i do it there is something called templates if you look at the appearance the appearance only we are change the whole thing for this icon i'll i'll change the other one because i'm missing it okay now what about i'm changing the color here basically go to the use the template okay is as a default template use a template uh okay use a template here okay you can see that what are the things you want here you want to change the size default type normal okay the primary is blue warning is yellow danger is this one success is green this is how it works okay i'm giving it warning just i'm saying again warning is yellow normal is nothing primary is blue warning is yellow danger is uh, red success is green okay i'm putting warning warning here so now it looks yellow okay when i'm coming to delete okay i change that to again red as you get normal i'm changing to danger so okay okay now if you are happening saving the whole thing you can always run that again i'm telling you can only run the report not the model page model page is kind of a like you know Uncontrolled is controlled page, so you cannot run it directly. If I come here, see that it is yellow, it is green, it is updated. This is how it looks. Okay, you can change all that. Okay, the class is over today.